Hi ladies, my name is Lori and I will never diet again. I'm a conservative Christian, a wife, mother, grandmother, pastor's wife, and my family and I have lived in Mexico since 2004. I'm so glad you've come to join me today. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is day 10, just a quick one minute or less uh, vlog that when I weighed in, I weighed exactly the same. This is the lowest that I've weighed so far, and I've maintained that so far. So I haven't gone up or down. Or um, I'm eating my wraps. I'm laying uh, one of the romaine leaves inside of the, uh, of the iceberg lettuce, and I have a huge, two huge uh, lettuce wraps to go because we have to go shopping today, have to go somewhere. So I have that, to, my food is ready on the go. So I'll be ready and I'm prepared, I'm prepared. So I, this is exciting because I love these wraps. I'm like crazy about them. So hope you're doing well until tomorrow. This is how it is eating out. Yummy, yummy. I have no worries. I'm. Day 11, and there has been uh, no no new weight loss as of today, but I am maintaining. All right. Hi, ladies. This is day 12. I've lost 1.8 pounds this week. I've almost lost two pounds to meet my goal of 30 pounds in 12 weeks. I need to lo be losing two and a half pounds a week. Remember last week, my first week, the first seven days, I lost 3.4 pounds. I've already lost 1.8. I'm well on my way. So, so far, so good. And, and the week's not even up. Hello, today is day 13 of the Hasty Plate. I have a little over 10 weeks to get ready to be on the Chef AJ show. And the weight is, um, I don't believe I lost anything today. And I need to hurry up and lose some weight. My my target or my aim, my goal is to lose two and a half pounds a week. I lost more than that the first week, so I probably am okay. But still, you know, I don't want to just like be just dropping a pound. I need to be losing to more than that. I'm also wanting to switch up my uh, diet. I was thinking I would be eating the lettuce wraps, but I'm wanting like I'm wanting like a Buddha bowl. So I'm kind of thinking of taking the ingredients for a Buddha bowl, bowl rice corn, black beans, and just have to portion it out in comparison to all my veggies. I'm thinking of putting a Buddha bowl ingredients in my lettuce wrap. That's with some Cholula sauce. I like that a lot. So that might be what I'm doing starting tomorrow. Today is day 14. Good morning. Well, the scale is, uh, it's not really budging. Normally um, on Mondays, my I see something happening, but I'm thinking I need to up my exercise a little bit. Uh, the week that I lost 3.4 pounds, I had two extra walks in that I normally don't have. So I'm going to try to up my exercise just a little bit and see if I can't come up with a better number by tomorrow. Good evening, it's the end of day 14. And well, tomorrow is my weigh-in day. That's when I do the vlog. I'll turn in the vlog for the week. And so far I've lost 1.4 pounds. And I'm hoping that it says at least that tomorrow that I've lost at least that. I'm, I'm supposed to be losing two and a half pounds a week. I'm a bit concerned. I did weigh my food today. I I'll, I'll show you what I did, but I, I literally put it on the, I don't have a, a scale anymore. And so I use the scale, for the whole body scale. <laughs> and so literally I ate like five pounds of, uh, five pounds of food, I, I think.
So I weighed my food and it was like 4.5 pounds, so four and a half pounds, but then I, I still just wanted something different today, so I took a potato, it wasn't a huge one. I didn't weigh it and I didn't take any pictures of it, but I diced it up and I put it in the air fryer. So I'm thinking I ate close to five pounds worth of food today, and I think that's typically what I'm eating, right around you know four, four to five pounds of food every day, which I didn't realize, but I'm eating three pounds of, well, it was almost three and a half pounds of non-starchy vegetables, and it was one to 1.2 pounds of starches, but then I added the potato, so I'm thinking it was probably a pound and a half. So I'm kind of excited to see what happens tomorrow. I hope my body will co cooperate. I only got one extra, I, I only took two walks today. I didn't take the extra one, but I think this next week I'm gonna try to take an extra walk because that's when I lost 3.4 pounds was when I was walking. Uh, I walked a couple days three times instead of just two. So I didn't do that this week. Maybe that's what the difference is because I'm really basically eating the same thing. I, I really am. Good morning, today is day 15 of the Hasty Plate. Well, the scale didn't budge down. In fact, it's doing one of those, it went down yesterday and it's flipping back up. So I am not too happy about that. And I'm wondering, because this has been happening over several weeks, if I should just have a weigh-in Monday instead of a weigh-in Tuesday. I'm seriously contemplating that and I'm going to be reporting what it was yesterday because it will be just a big mess if I use today. So as so I lost, as of yesterday, 1.4 pounds. I lost seven pounds in the last 30 days. And I lost 22.6 pounds since the beginning of January in 2022. For the 15 days that I've been on the hasty plate, I have lost 4.4 pounds, 4.4 pounds which is an average of 2.2 pounds a week, and I need to lose two and a half pounds to make it to a 30 pound weight loss come June the 7th, which I have 10 weeks left. So I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I, I don't know that I can do it, because my body, you know, I just, I'm so low energy, and I'm trying. I found some really great information, though, through an old newsletter of Dr. McDougall's from 2002, and uh, I'm just gonna go briefly over these, these tips, helping me see an overall picture of what is expected of, and what typically happens to the normal person and to those that are, uh, have a chronic problem like I do. Uh, one, obviously, is that we have no animal products. Two, we're removing sugars such as maple syrup because the body will burn that first, for one thing, I know that. So I'm, I'm limiting mine to one teaspoon of sugar because I might not eat something if I, like uh, my salad, I, I need some sort of a dressing. So I'm not really, otherwise I feel like I'm on a diet and I will never diet again. Number three is removing salt, except for I am uh, putting a teaspoon of coconut amino acids for flavor and that is not recommended on the plan. So I'm basically telling you what we're, I'm supposed to be doing and the exception that I'm making because I am uh, customizing this for myself. Otherwise, I'll feel like I'm on a diet and I will never diet again. Number four is to remove all flours, which includes the corn tortillas, which I did. Uh, number five is we're to eliminate coffee, but I have found a recent video of Dr. McDougall's where it's not recommended, but he does allow you to have a cup of coffee if you use a coffee filter. Number six is eating non starch excuse me, number six is to eat raw, non-starchy vegetables, not cooking them. Uh, and I am doing that, but I'm, I'm, I'm to kind of at a place right now uh, because I'm not really seeing a huge the huge benefit that I was hoping, I mean, I, I thought I was gonna be dropping 3.4 pounds a week, but only having lost, how much did I lose this week? I lost 1.4 pounds, which it, to me, it's not making it worth it, but maybe it will in the long run, but basically I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing the results that I wanted to see, so it's a little 
discouraging. I shouldn't be discouraged, but I'm be keeping it real. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to worry so much about the ratios. Be uh, I'm number seven is eating, you know, the starch, and I'm going to be eating. I eat one to one and a half pounds of starch every day, and I've been doing that since 2019. Uh, so I'm not going to be reducing my starch because you know, I won't be satiated if I do. So I, I was just trying to add more non-starchy vegetables into the the ratio. And, uh, I, well, I, I think just cutting back the, cutting back my, my maple syrup has been super helpful. Cutting out the corn tortillas is helpful. I continue to not eat after six o'clock and I'm drinking at least a quart of water. It depends on how thirsty I am. Uh, Dr. McDougal, Dr. McDougal doesn't push that we just, you know, flush out all of our everything, potassium and all that with drinking loads and loads of water. He says, drink when you're thirsty. So I'm drinking water when I'm thirsty. So this newsletter is really good one. I will try to remember to put the link down in the description below. Uh, it's tips for, well, it's from November 2002, volume one, number 11 is the vlog from the from the McDougal website, mcdougal.com, which is doc, drmcdougal.com. And it's successful weight loss tips uh, and the rules for the human diet. Uh, refinements for maximum weight loss and I did notice down below here that when he got to talking about those vegetables the yellow vegetables where is he at so this has all the good this has all the tips that you're gonna find in the books he says I suggest about one-third he's talking about the non starchy vegetables I suggest about one-third of the meal should be from those from these low calorie vegetables and if you are desperate, then you may push the amount to half of your plate measured by the eyeball. However, be careful that you do not eat so many of these low calorie foods that your meal no longer is satisfying because then you won't want to stick with it for the long run. So like I said, uh, I'm, I'm just going, <laughs> I was doing the hasty plate and it's sort of kind of like the hasty plate. I'm just, I'm just not gonna be so worried about making sure that the ratio is two thirds. I think the bigger deal is how much starch I'm eating. And like I said, I'm just kind of seeing the same gradual amount of weight loss, whether I add more non-starchy vegetables into the mix or not. So I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat it. So my biggest changes with the hasty plate has been making my non-starchy vegetables raw. I went back, I went to eating raw. I'm not gonna add cooked back into the equation. I will not do that. And I took away the seeds. Remember, I always do seed cycling. So I've taken away all the seeds and my one Brazil nut that I normally eat on Wednesdays, I've taken that out of the equation. I need to remember to take my two capsules of kelp unless I, you know, make a, a sushi roll out of nori, a nori sheet, which I did last week. So then I wasn't so worried about the kelp. But uh, I, let me see if there's anything else in here that I wanted to remember. I think that was pretty much it. My exercise. Exercise burns calories. We know that. So... Oh, one thing he mentioned in here was exercise before rather than after you eat to suppress your appetite even more. So that's a good tip. Exercise before you eat, before you start eating. So today I was up and I, I even wanted to have a little coffee and I thought I'm going to go for my walk first. I'll go for my walk first. I will go for my walk first and then I'll have my little cup of coffee. So... Here, I thought this was interesting. How well does the McDougal program work? We have collected weight loss data on over 2,000 people and find that with unrestricted eating of the basics or the basic McDougal program, the average weight loss for overweight women is about four pounds and the loss for overweight men is six pounds in 11 days. 
This, trend, this translates into 8, 10, 12, 16, and 20 pound weight losses each month. And these people are never hungry, which is true. They eat delicious food. Yes, they do. And they lose weight without thinking about it. Could be if you don't think about it. No suffering with hunger pains. This is true. Or any complicated formulas and rules to follow. The weight loss is permanent because they are doing something natural and normal, eating food they enjoy to all the satisfaction of their normal healthy appetite. This is the way nature had to have intended for life to be for people. It makes no sense for life to be lived otherwise. I think God made the perfect diet, don't you? Four pounds for women in 11 days, and I lost 4.4 pounds in 14 days. It took me 14 days. So I'm losing a little bit slower than their typical average. Like I said, I'm going to add in a few more walks this week. So today I've already had an extra walk in, and then I'll have one this evening. And I'm gonna do that a few times. So the only thing that I'm not that I'm changing about this hasty plate, which I just, you know, we just can't be so you know, try to be so restrictive or whatever, is I'm just not gonna sweat if it's not exactly two-thirds non-starchy vegetables. I'm eating the same amount of starch, and if I eat a little bit less of the non-starchy, I don't think it's a big deal. Not it's not a deal breaker at this point in time. And if I think about it, I can try to cut out my one teaspoon of maple syrup just to see if I notice a difference this week. So I think I can do that because I've sort of kind of got, I've gotten used to the monk fruit. The monk fruit was something I don't really love when I'm, you know, having maple syrup. But if I'm just going to, I'll try to comply in that way. So I'll make the, you know, I'm not going to worry about my ratios and it probably, <laughs> It's very well that I might be still eating two thirds, the non-starchy. I'm just not gonna sweat it. Well, looking on here, when it says that we're talking eight, eight pounds a month, that I'm gonna fall into that. In fact, I'm gonna, I should fall into the eight or 10 pounds a month. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, I'm, I'm 53, I'm post-menopause. Uh, I'm not doing too, hours of exercise every day. I'm very laid back, super laid back. Don't have to do a lot. So that's really good, don't you think? Don't you think? I think it's really good for someone that's pretty inactive, just taking a few walks, two or three walks a day for like 30, 30 to 45 minutes. I think that's really, really good. And I also have my bike set up to try to do that. I like to do that for, I'm gonna try to work up to five, 10, 15 minutes of, no, probably 10 minutes at the most on the bike, the stationary bike. That's what it's something I did last time. Last time I did like 10, 15 minutes on my bike and then 10 or 15 minutes on the Concept 2 rowing machine. I think I was in a little bit better shape. All right, I got my homework cut out for me. Let me know how you're doing. I, I, I have a few of you ladies that have said, yeah, I'm doing it, but you're not, you're not really telling me how you're doing. I'd like to hear from you. I wanna know if you're losing a little bit of weight. You should be reporting at least once a week. Otherwise, I'm just out here on my own and you guys are watching and I'm, I, I hope it's entertaining to you. <laughs> also wanna put a plug in there for Chef AJ, for some of you gals. You know, uh, Chef AJ's thing is no sofas. No salt, <laughs> salt, oil, flour, alcohol, or sugar. And so if I was thinking about how non-compliant I can be, you know, I just let a little tiny thing sneak in there, you know, wh where I had the maple, I was, I, I had the maple syrup in there. But the main thing that I grabbed, I tried to grab what's really good from, you know, from the different, uh, whole foods, plant-based doctors that have programs for losing weight that would apply to me and be beneficial and helpful to me. I st I'm not 100% compliant. I technically should not be having any caffeine, but when I have zero energy, I just, I just sometimes want to feel like I have a little bit of something. So I do drink a little bit of caffeine and I'm, and it's not good for me and I shouldn't be doing it. And I didn't drink it for years, but but as Dr. McDougall says, it's such a fun drug and it's legal. And I did my seed cycling while I was doing, I thought I was doing Chef AJ's plan. <laughs> the reality is that 
I think I'm doing it, but then there's so much to take in. There's so much to take in, and then you get kind of to a spot, and you're like, well, I want to refine it, and I'll, you know, stick to it a little bit more. But it takes, it's a process. So what I, I wanted to mention today, well, before I get into that, because I'm all over the place. So with Chef AJ's program, we're no sofas, no salt, oil, flour, alcohol, or sugar. And I wasn't completely compliant because with her program, I should not have been at using any nuts or seeds, which I did just a tiny bit. And uh, it, and then also I um, had my maple sh syrup, which is, I wasn't supposed, that wasn't compliant, but I had a little bit of maple syrup. So I what I enjoyed and I gleaned from Chef AJ was to use, eat those non-starchy vegetables first. And I, and I loved zucchini and I fell in love with the, with the Instant Pot. So it made it really easy just to make one pot meals and I'd throw my potato, I ended up just throwing it all in together and I would have this big old one pot meal fest and I was losing weight and was just thrilled because I was, it tasted so good and it was just so filling. My problem with the chilaquila sauce that I used all the time was, it started with my grandson and then it's it started happening for me. It was so spicy, I was just burning my stomach. So I had to cut way back on my chilaquile sauce. It was just so spicy. I haven't made it in months, if you could believe that, because I ate it all the time. In 2019, 2020, 2021, I ate it all the time. Just never got sick of it. And you want to know why? Because mixed with my totopos, which my baked tortillas, and I figured out how to bake them so easy just by sprinkling salt and just baking my uh, my my tortilla my yeah my toast my tortilla chips and adding the uh, chilaquile sauce it was just like eating Doritos but even better like fresh Doritos and that's not something that I'm eating right now but you know I will have some later on after June anyway what I wanted to say is that I was watching another vlogger that's trying to eat. It says they're they're saying that they're eating the McDougal program for maximum weight loss, but I've watched a couple of videos and they're very discouraged and they're not losing any weight and they're having and they're but they're showing everybody what they're doing, but they're showing everybody their mistakes. And I'm thinking, okay, you just went and you just made this great meal and added a whole bunch of edamame and then you don't lose any weight and you want to know why because that is so fattening. It, sure, it's plant-based, and it, and, but it's not going to help you lose any weight. Uh, well, I'm going to be in competition with the gardener. But the other thing is, is that they were eating... Uh, non-compliant, you know, bars. They were eating nuts and stuff. They bought some f processed foods that were full of nuts and stuff. You know, yeah, it's it's whole foods, plant-based, but that is not on the McDougal program for maximum weight loss. We have to remove those things. If you if you are getting serious and you're wanting to lose some weight and they're not budging, what are you doing that's not compliant? What are you? You're cheating somehow. You got to be honest with yourself. And the thing is, they're like, oh, and I got this bread. Oh, yeah, it has a little bit of oil in it. Dude, that's going to keep you from losing weight. In fact, it's going to help you pack on the pounds. You've got to be compliant. You got to be compliant. And, and those things, and plus it was refined flour. The thing is, if we're doing the, max, if the program for maximum weight loss, we don't eat those things. We could say we're eating the McDougal program, but... How so? To lose weight? No. You you might be eating plant-based and you're focusing on your starches, but we can't be go around telling people we're doing the maximum weight loss program when we're totally not compliant. Of course, people can, but then I was watching this gal. I mean, she's been vlogging for over a year and she's not losing any weight. Well, that's why. So is that happening to you too? Are you, look at look at what you're eating how are you not being compliant are you allowing processed food in i mean dr mcdougall even told me no more eating out and i know that i always packed my food before but then i let my guard down for six months last year i just got i don't know why i got tired of tired of it and i didn't want to pack my food i was i think i was just getting tired you know I, i'm chronically fatigued and i think i was tired and i was just wanted to spend more time with him and so instead of having taking the time to prepare my food and take it with me I just said okay and, and I ate chilaquiles 
out with breakfast with him and then I gained 20 pounds. It's, it wasn't worth it at all to go backwards. So I just have to plan ahead and uh, take my food with me. Otherwise I don't get to go out. So most times I'm too tired to go out anyway, but anyway, so take a look at what you're eating and if you're not compliant, then that's why you're not losing weight. It's not the program, it's you. And so you gotta make some changes. You can't be cheating, okay? All right. I think I just figured out why I didn't lose as much weight. It's because the first week I ate botanas, remember? I just ate up the, the slice, sliced up fruit or the sliced up veggies. And then the second week I did all those lettuce wraps and I took all my food that I was eating more in their whole form in bigger chunks and I was just using my salad chopper, which it was processing it too much. So this week I'm gonna try to do my lettuce wraps a little bit differently. I'm going to try to get my veggies more in the whole form like the botanas and I'll do my lettuce wraps with the starches and maybe a little bit of salad mix, but not as much. So let's see if that will make a bigger difference in my weight loss for this next week. Plus, I'll try to get in a couple more extra walks and see if I can't get the weight to start budging a little quicker. The weight loss isn't bad, it's just not exactly where I want it to be. So I'm, I'm slowly figure, figuring this out. Gotta do it on my own, but I'm getting it worked out. Thanks for listening. Hope it helps you too. Bye. Air fry, tots, whole tots in there. Half a cup of oats into my, my chili. And this is really good. This switches it up for me enough where I don't feel like I'm eating the same thing all the time. And doing my botanas now. My food for the day, I I'm out of sweet potatoes and I've been hungry for white potatoes so I made some little cubed baked air fried potatoes that I'm gonna mix with my 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 chili and I've rather than using the salad chopper I'm not gonna use the salad chopper so I just have some largely diced uh, bell pepper and cauliflower and a couple cups of salad mix which has kale and and Brussels sprouts and and some cabbage couple of handfuls of, um, of, of alfalfa sprouts. I've got my two heads of lettuce here and my half of a jicama and two small cucumbers. I'm gonna pig out on this today, graze on it, eat it whenever I'm hungry. And it is already noon and I'm going to stop eating by six and see if having my food in larger chunks will make a difference with my weight loss. Seems crazy, but it, it could be what's going on. I used a half a cup of oats today. All right, have a great day. God bless you. Like and subscribe, please.